The Musa Eredo Center in the Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria, Abuja, played host to Canadian investors, the federal government and members of the Nigerian private sector. The event is the first Nigeria-Canada Investment Summit with the theme fostering strong business partnerships into the future. We're under no illusions that Nigeria, that the Nigerian government can by its budget fund Nigeria's infrastructure requirements. So we certainly welcome you to explore how you can be a part of the changing story of our infrastructure. Well, this country is extremely viable. It's a fertile land for investment and I don't think the Canadians understand it well enough. And I've gone all over, all over the country to different cities trying to sell the country, but I realize that until they come here themselves and see for themselves, they may not quite understand what we have to offer. So if you listen to what Monica Rovers had to say yesterday, Canadian, she said that when she came here, she came to appreciate the warmth, the hospitality, and the general knowledge that our people have. I'm listening to the speaker that spoke yesterday, the VP and the Minister for Industry and Trade, and all the other people that took part, the NIPC CEO, I mean, the Canadians clearly came away with a better understanding. And what this means is that they can go back to their country and begin to spread the word. Lots of B2B transaction patterns going on here. The economy has stabilized. Mr. President is doing very well and we're diversifying into many, many, many sectors, uh, inclusive of aviation, agri uh, and transportation infrastructure. So uh, coming or bringing this summit to Nigeria, I think is a step in the right direction. And I think it's good for the people of Nigeria. And I'm sure those people who will decide to invest eventually will not regret uh, their actions. I think there are a wealth of opportunities here in Nigeria. There is such a diverse range of uh, uh, resources that they have here with the, the people, the natural resources and uh, the uh, variety in the country itself. Um, the particular uh, project that I've been discussing here is power generation. It's something that Nigeria really needs and something that Nigeria can easily do with the natural resources that it has available, in particular uh, gas. You know that we're looking at a, a lot of different methods of uh, power production here, solar, wind, these are all available, but the one that I'm focusing on at the moment is uh, gas power generation. Aviation, mining, energy infrastructure, fintech and uh, what have you. It's very apparent now that um, uh, Canada is um, fully aware of the potential in Nigeria. Uh, very unlike what we've had in the past, where you know, many of these events you know, happened uh, in Canada. I'm especially happy and excited that for the first time now we are bringing Canadians you know, to Nigeria to see things firsthand, to assess you know, the environment, the people, the, the, the systems, the, the culture, and, uh, and the opportunities. So uh, the taste of uh, the pollen, they say, is in the eating. The two-day summit also attracted local investors and consumers. This project From the Musa Eradua Center in the Federal Capital get. Territory, Abuja, Joy Usiago, NTA News.